the industry has recently launched a new grapevine improvement program and the aim of that is to look at increasing the diversity of plants that we have. About three quarters of the grapes that we grow for wine are of the same genetic type, Sauvignon Blanc, which is fantastic. We're known for it. We've built a great reputation on the basis of that. But it also means that we've narrowed down the scope of genetic diversity in our industry to a very limited pool. We know we have a changing climate. We've got some challenges coming up over the next few years that we need to address. Some of the priorities with regards to climate change are using less water, not using more land, so that's largely around increasing the productivity that we get from the land that we already use, uh, reducing the amount of spray, so generally reducing inputs to increase the sustainability of the wine that we currently make. This project doesn't involve breeding. We're not introducing foreign genetics in any kind of targeted way. It's, it's not GMO, we're not crossing them with any other variety. Instead, what we're doing is taking advantage of the plant's own natural ability to adapt in response to stress, and then select that diversity, collect it into one place, and screen it for traits that are specifically useful in the New Zealand context. So we're very fortunate to have been able to bring in a really interesting piece of kit, this Promethean sequencer to New Zealand. It's the first high throughput third generation DNA sequencer in the country and that means it's, it's sort of a step change on the type of DNA sequencing that was available up until now. For us it's a way of getting efficiency into the program, allowing us to do some of the screening almost in parallel with the plant production. This project is a seven-year project. It's co-funded by MPI under their Sustainable Food and Fiber Futures program. The plants will be produced from year one, so we're expecting to see a first thousand plants coming out before the end of 2022. This work is focused on Sauvignon Blanc initially, and that's because it's, that's the majority of our wine exports. But the knowledge we generate about how grapevines accumulate diversity in response to stress and how we select plants that have specific traits that are important to our industry is absolutely transferable into the other varieties that we grow. So although it's a, a large, costly seven-year project, to get the same gains in Pinot Noir, for example, would be much more efficient knowing that this is the trait we want to select for, we would produce a diversity again, but we wouldn't have to grow up 12,000 plants to maturity to pick that, that improved plant.